We appreciate Arrow bringing the Broncos to Dolby. The students always get a lot out of the Broncos coming. Today we've been through a couple of schools just trying to reiterate how important after school is and um, how good choices in their life is going to improve their after school life. A lot of these kids feel disconnected from bigger cities. They feel like they're out here by themselves and it's so good to have them come out and share a piece of their life with these kids and they, they take a lot away from it. A couple of things I want to talk about today. We're going to talk about success and what steps we can put into place right, to be successful. You've got to have a dream. Right? We need to be able to have something that's going to motivate us. We need to believe that we have the skills and the tools to become successful. All the water in the world will not sink the ship unless the water gets in. I was at a point in my life where I didn't need anybody telling me that I was a loser. I already believed that. But here was somebody that wasn't looking at the kid I was, he was looking at the man I could become. Take a look at the people that volunteer their time with you. Take a look at the teachers around you. So I guarantee you that they are looking at you kids in exactly the same way. We have to have a plan. It's not just going to happen. I put a plan into place and I believed it and I put the beloved Jug Broncos jersey back on and that was, that, that was something that I wanted to do before I, I gave it up. So um, at the end of the day I, I achieved my dream again so I was happy where, where I was. And, and now I've got an even bigger dream to help people like you, help guys like you and um, it's, it's probably one of the best jobs ever. Tell me some of the distractions that's going to deter you from being successful. I was born in Moree, in northwest New South Wales. I grew up on a mission just outside of town in a community riddled with drugs, alcohol and violence. Growing up on that mission, I saw and experienced things that no kid should ever have to. But I'm not here to ramble on about how bad the place was, because for as much as I hated that place, I got just as much love for it as well. We need to ask questions. No such thing as a stupid question. It's only stupid if you don't ask it. This is probably why we're here guys, is so you guys can realise how important education is. Because if you don't start now, you're gonna, you'll get, you know, you'll get there probably where I am now at 24 and think, gosh, I wish I listened to this when I was in that classroom. Work hard, right? It's the biggest piece of that puzzle. Without hard work, no one has ever been successful in their life. Far too many people give up. But the easiest thing for to do is just say, right, that's all too hard, I'm just gonna give up. One of the sayings my dad used to tell me was, success only happens when your dreams get bigger than your excuses. Some people succeed because they're destined to, but most people succeed because they're determined to. I guess it's a really good opportunity just to have the boys come out here and just someone to look up to, I guess, and be able to put us in the right direction. We wouldn't have travelled all the way up here if we didn't think that you he's had it in you. You wouldn't be sitting in this room, so take these opportunities, take them and run with them. Yeah, it's really important because, you know, sometimes we don't get out to some areas like this and it's um, really good that Arrow has helped us out and helped these kids out and I think everyone has really appreciated it. It's always good to see some of the kids and the kids love us out here and, you know, we enjoy it as much as they do. And for those of you that have the courage to rise up and make a stand, all power to you because you are a rose that grew from concrete.